Today, we are going to show you how to install your Garmin Panoptix LiveScope LVS32 using the shaft mount kit. Before you begin, you'll need the mount provided in the box, the transducer, the mounting screws, the transducer mounting screw with washers, and the provided Allen key. For direct access to your boat, make sure it is out of the water. If your trolling motor has a rotating joint on the shaft, we will need to separate the transducer cables. To do this, we will hold the transducer near the barrel in its planned mounting location and mark the cable where it crosses the rotating joint. Once we have marked where to separate the cables, lay the transducer cable on a hard, flat surface. Press the tip of the included cutting tool, a flathead screwdriver, or a blunt knife to the center of the cables at your marked location and puncture the material between the cables. Make sure you do not cut through or into the round section of the cables, just the webbing between them. Ensure the cables have a gap of at least 10 centimeters or 4 inches above and 10 centimeters or 4 inches below the split portion of the cable and are centered on the rotating joint. This creates a loop in the cable over the rotating joint. The loop must be large enough to allow full rotation of the transducer in both directions. Allow a minimum of 20 centimeters or 10 inches of cable to cover the 20 centimeters or 8 inch section between mounting points. Use the black electrical tape to secure the transducer cable to the shaft. The split section of the cable should extend under the tape. Finally, test the full rotation of the trolling motor to ensure the cables clear the rotating joint and are not pulled due to tension during rotation. Now it is time to install your transducer. The first step is to attach the transducer to the mount. Begin by feeding the transducer mounting screw through the metal washer, followed by the rubber one. Then attach the mount to the transducer. Ensure you fully tighten the mount to the transducer. Then attach the mount to the shaft. You can use the arrows as a reference for lining up the mount. using the Allen key to tighten the four screws until the fitment is secure and tight. There are four different ways to mount the transducer. The first option is port side forward. The next mounting option is port side downward view. The third option is on the starboard side and forward view. The final option is starboard downward view. And that's it. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.